What's poppin' is Enzo McFly. It's your girl, your car keys, I am. She what it do, man. This your boy, EZ. What's up, what's up? It's your girl, Angry here. It's your boy, Mikey Iso. What's up? It's your girl, Desiree Simone. Hit 22 Radio, man. Y'all know what's going down. The biggest blood in America. Hey, man, you already know who it is. DJ Me What's going on, man? It's comedian Jeff Shelley. What's good, words? Show me DJ Shows. Say, man, it's Wapi Puerto Rico, man. Baby boy, baby girl. It's your girl, Be Simona with Catch 22. What's up, Houston? It's your boy, Quay. I just wrapped a dope-ass interview with Catch 22. You're now rocking with the voice of the South. Catch 22 radio show on 92kills.com. And we are back with Man Cave Sunday with DJ Nice Knees, Brian, Ladybug, David, the cameraman with many names, and we have a special they guest. They call him Baby Arms, too. He'll get off my knees, too. <laughs> <right>. Baby Arms. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a special guest. Now, uh, she's 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 pretty dope. Um, she bad. <laughs> she cute. Nah, yeah, for sure. Um, says she's an actress. Uh-huh. She's an am- am- ambassador. Uh-huh. Um, and, and it's spelled right on her page. You know, a lot of cute girls that say that they just put in Bassett She went oil. to college for yeah. sure. Um, yeah. And she uh, she sponsors brands. So we have Miss Bree Hudson in the building. Yeah. Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, y'all, you know, uh, we normally kick it off with asking her what she do. But we was talking about some stuff off air that we just wanted to dive right into. So, Bree says that she does a lot of. Uh, she didn't say she do a lot of. <laughs> she didn't say that. Don't put that in her mouth. Yeah. What she said. What she said was story time would be okay. No, go I'm ahead. Just no, I'm just no. Joking. But what I'm she did was say they do. Uh, what's it called? Uh, she met Maddie there. Hey, what? Vision board. Vision, vision board. board. Mm-hmm. So, what is a vision board? Because this man came Sunday. We don't know. So we all guessing. So when our women, or if we don't have women, we hear women say, "We finna go with our home girl. We finna do a vision board." Explain what that is. Okay, vision boards. As far as I know, they're usually done at the beginning of the year, and. It's kind of just a map of what you want to accomplish in the year. Um, it's different goals, personal, professional, different things. And it's, it's a party because everyone tells different stories. You get inspired by everyone. It's a beautiful What kind thing. of stories? About their man? No. <laughs> some some, will some, be about some getting a new man. Some getting yes, a man. Some of them want a new man. Some of them want to leave their man. I mean, a lot of them, you know, they want to see their businesses flourish. They want to see their relationship with God flourish. Different things. So, so what was on your vision board for this year? I want my career to flourish. Um, of course, a better relationship with God. I have a great relationship with God, but I just want everything to flourish. Because yeah, you don't cuss. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> you really don't cuss like no, at all? I, I, I curse. Okay. Oh, Plus, said you cuss. You say all the words. So, uh... <laughs> I know it. <laughs> you definitely said it. All right, so as far as your career flourishing, you know, it says that you are an actress and yes. you are an ambassador. And um, how do you distinguish that from just being, I guess, a, a pretty face? Because, you know, a lot of people will say that you're a pretty face on IG. So how do you show that you have talent outside of that? Um, when it comes to acting, you go for roles that are least likely for you. Like, I'm not just going to go for the pretty girl role. I don't want to be typecasted. I go for different things, you know, aim high. You got to try out for some stuff like the crackhead or something like that. You just have to... They would never cast you as a crackhead. Crackhead, for sure. No, you too healthy. They might. They, that was Halle Berry's first role. She was a crackhead. It's All like, right, but she thin, thin, too. Okay. <laughs> so she kind of, like, fit the role. Like, she could mess her hair up. She look thin, put a little makeup on. She it's was like crackhead. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying, bro. I was just saying. Is that, is that not true? She she going for versatility, okay? Okay. Man, bro. Uh, so know. so what other roles have you went out for? What what's what's the I guess the the a role that you went out for that we wouldn't have guessed you went out for? Um it was a role for a battered woman in a domestic violence, you know, relationship. Okay. So that was one of the roles that kind of stepped out of the what people will see me as. Um uh-huh. A lot of casting directors are like, oh, you know, you just, you come off as such a strong, you know, beautiful woman, but, I mean, I got, I got a role, I got the role, so. I feel like in the movies, they would play you as the strong woman that gets cheated on. Yeah, for sure, Tyler Perry, for sure. (laughs) Tyler Perry, Perry, for sure. um, Look, he in town, I think you should try, like, hey, if you got another play, like, Mm -hmm. I could definitely be that strong woman that gets cheated on. I can see you throwing the radio in the man's shower. Oh, my God. 
Hey, what's wrong with y'all? <laughs> hey, shut up. So hey, listen. leave my vision alone. <laughs> so no, 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 no. I did. I did. Uh, so is there? Do like? Do you only want to do like movies or TV, or do you want to do plays? Do you want to do Broadway? Like, is there a limit to what you want to do, or you you kind of open to everything? I'm very open to everything, but the way everything. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah. see, look, just threw it off. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I mean, cut it out, okay? At the moment, I'm more focused on um, television and film. Okay. Um, I would like to venture out into Broadway and different things. Like I've done plays, but that was back in high school, so mm-hmm. it hasn't been anything as a working actress. Um, so so far, I've only been doing things for film and TV. So, okay. yeah. So, like, do you take, like, acting classes? Did you go to school for acting? Or it's just like, I feel like I'm talented, so I'm going to go do it. Well, it's crazy because um, in middle school, I took acting classes the whole time. In middle school, I was in theater arts. I was a thespian, too. Mm -hmm. I was in the thespian troop. You a lesbian, too? Uh I was a thespian. I I knew it. I was in troop 600378. And then um, See, in high I school. That. Come on, I'm serious. <laughs> I, I'm going to watch. I'm going to bring the pen. I'm telling you, I was a test pen. So you was doing Hamlet? Uh, no, we did. Uh, you just making Hamlet so, sandwiches. Uh, 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 so Long Broadway or something like that. It was in middle school. You did Broadway? <laughs> yeah. I sung and everything. He was a fat kid that was getting picked out. I was, you were the husky child. Thank you. <laughs> you know what? Brian wasn't the husky one. That's what I tell you. He wasn't. In middle school, Brian wasn't the husky one. Ryan did. He had a husky face. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Back to Bree. Ah, <laughs> it's the cheap moves. All right, so back to, I'm, I'm uh, sorry that I no, interrupted. Okay. But so you said in middle school that you were. I did um, theater arts and acting all through it. And then in high school, I only did one year because I joined dance team. And it's like, I always knew I would do something in the arts, whether it would have been dance or acting. Um, so I always knew I wanted to act. That was the first thing I ever wanted to do. But, you know, when you get older and you're in high school, reality starts to hit. And you're like, can I really do this? Right. And you're like, mm. But, you know, it, it's working out. So what made you jump out there and do it, after, I mean, over dance, if you were doing dance in high school um, also? Actually, this is where social media plays a big part in a lot of things. Um, one of the producers for a television show messaged me and was like, oh, you have the look for this role that we're casting for. Mm. You should, you should mm. come out and read for it. Mm-hmm. I read for it, and I got it. So, yeah. so how do you, I mean? I know your DMs are probably live, and especially probably after this video, it's gonna be even mm-hmm. you know worse. How do you know who's serious or who's just trying to you know talk to you? Uh, <laughs> I can usually sniff it out, and people you know they come with the facts, they come with the paperwork. It's never on some oh trying to flirt. They're just straight about the business, like okay. you know you do this, you do this, you do this. It was very, it was very just straight business. It wasn't. Right. It wasn't like, oh, you're so beautiful. I like to have lunch. Like, no. Also, don't start off like that. Yeah. Okay, I got you. I'm like, uh. So seeing as IG is a is a big part of, uh, I guess, building your brand. Mm-hmm. How did you feel when it went down the other day? <laughs> I was I was okay actually. Um, it it didn't really bother me. I mean. Because I wasn't on my phone that much that day. So I was just like, that's that's fine. i tell you how much I noticed. I didn't even know it went down. Yeah. I did. I only knew because I had got on Twitter at one point and they were, like, it was trending. Like, it was Instagram going crazy. Was down. Yeah. So you do, so of all social medias, which one do you like more? Ooh, okay. If I'm looking for a laugh, it's Twitter. Twitter is the funniest social media, but love Instagram. Love Instagram. Um. It's very good for marketing and business. Like, you can't do that with Twitter. You can't really do that with Snapchat either. Instagram is the full package. If you want to make money on social media, I feel like Instagram is the start. Mm. You know? Like, yeah, yeah. The quickest way now. I mean, people do YouTube too, but Instagram is easier, I feel like. So as far as, I guess, like branding and uh, becoming an ambassador, like, do you reach out to them? Do they reach out to you? Um, how does that what Come is together. a brand ambassador? Really, to be honest, can we start there? What exactly is it that you do? I represent the brand. I promote the brand. Um, I'm at every event. I'm working hard. I'm pushing the brand, making sure it, it grows with me and always putting out a good look and, you know, just things like that. And I brand, I'm a brand ambassador for She's Happy Hair. Um, and they reached, they reached out to me. I've been a loyal customer to She's Happy Hair way before then, so... You know, it's about also really liking the products. Cause you don't want to be lying to people. 
So crackheads are like brand ambassadors. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> they like the product. They push it real hard. They tell you where you can get it from. <laughs> How are they not brand ambassadors? Yeah, why, they, why they kind of be called crackheads and not brand ambassadors? True. I feel like you have to be able to bring business in as well. So that platform. Well, they are. They bringing their friends. <laughs> hey, That's true. I just I feel like it's necessary to say that the reason that crackheads aren't brand ambassadors is because the brand is crack. <laughs> but that's that's a that's a, a brand. brand. <laughs> it's a brand. All crack, it, crack is a brand. That's what I'm gonna start calling crackheads. Brand ambassadors. Oh yep. my god. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense to me. I, I think I, it makes a lot of sense. Drew, y'all think you're all the sub. I just you know. Um, so what? So besides she's happy hair, is there another brand that you would like to represent? Um, that just you you feel like you they haven't reached out just yet. Um, I would like to collaborate with Pretty Little Thing. I'd say. Um, What's that? It's a clothing brand. It's, I don't know how to describe it. It's a clothing brand. I guess you could compare it to Fashion Nova because Fashion Nova is, like, I guess the biggest on Instagram. Um, but I like Pretty Little Thing because I'm actually a customer of theirs. I only okay. like to be a brand ambassador for brands that I can actually back and say, yeah, their, their product is good, the quality is good, everything. So you don't wear Fashion Nova? No. Why not? Like you're the only I girl. I don't like know, I've, I've never ordered from Fashion Nova, and that's nothing against Fashion Nova. I just yeah, because there's a man in here that loves Fashion Nova. I just yep. I haven't. I just haven't. DJ um, Pretty Knees. He had on a, a floral, <laughs> Nova, a floral I, jumpsuit in I the think Bahamas. He, he might be. Um, he might be sponsored by First Fashion of all, Nova. It was not a jumpsuit. It wasn't a romper. It, it was, was a shorts. Him. It was and a, a shirt. Okay, I had a a short. Him. I had shorts. Him. And had my, shorts. All right, and there were shorts. They were attached to the shirt, though. Just so you know. They were not attached to my shirt. They definitely were. <laughs> How do you open the shirt and then it's attached? It is still attached uh, to the floor. Ask my daughter. She wears onesies all the time. I'm not in a onesie. <laughs> you were. I was not. It was a rumping. <laughs> you want me to show you? No. Huh? No. Don't show me. <laughs> I'll pull out. <laughs> I'm really with that. <laughs> all right. So as far as acting, what is I guess the uh, the end game? Like, like if you could work with anybody or do like one series, like one big role, what would it be? Ooh, who would I like to work with? That's crazy because I feel like I'm still growing as an actress, so I can't just throw a huge name out. Yes, there. you can. I can. If I'm aiming super high, I wanna okay. I wanna work with the you know Viola Davises and Meryl Streep, like you know the the Viola the Davis big... just started popping these last couple of years. I don't know what what happened. I think Highway how to get away with murder like up to her career. I don't know. think. She, she really did. Like, know, she, not, she's from she's from Broadway though. That's um, another thing. She did a lot of time on Broadway, and she, that's why she's so amazing as well. People who come from Broadway, yeah, yeah. Broadway. Yeah, you like, know what? I like her and Denzel and Fences. I don't know yes. why. I watch Fences probably once a week. Yes, Denzel. I would like to work with Denzel as well. Denzel's really. So with my mama, mama want to work with. Her. <laughs> Your mama want to do other things with Denzel. That's nasty. <laughs> I don't know if I call that work. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely work. Some women call it work. It's work. Oh my god. <laughs> So, so how do you feel about the whole, you know, coming from Houston and not going to New York and being on Broadway? How are you going to do this acting thing from the city of Houston? Um, actually, I am moving to New York. Um, mm-hmm. Only for six months because we're filming the first season of a TV series. Um, so I'll be making that move. It'll be just back and forth because I still do independent films here in Houston. Um, I'm always trying to grow my resume and, you know, better my experience and everything. So work is work. Work is work. Yeah. So, is there a role that you would say no to? Uh, yeah, definitely. Hmm. What what type of role? I Born feel like for sure. I feel like it can't. I don't know. It just can't be such a cliche role. I want to be taken seriously as an actress. So, it's certain roles that you just have to say no to. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Just you don't want to be ratchet. Yeah, like I don't want to be. A but see, look, look. The only reason I say that is like Regina Hall. Regina Hall, she could be ratchet. She could be classy. Mm-hmm. She's kind of like all around diversified across like the spectrum of yes. what you can be. Like she was in scary movie, but she was also <laughs> in like the new movie with the little girl. You know what yep. I mean? I can't think of the the name of the movie. And she's um, in that new TV show, um, Black Monday or something like that. It's on Showtime. She's really good in that. Well, I mean, you just gave me another one to go watch. I didn't know that. <laughs> so, uh, but okay. So I get. So, would you ever do like reality TV? No. What's wrong with reality TV? Um, nothing's wrong with it. I just feel like it's definitely hard to transition from reality star to a serious actor. Like um, people, for some reason, people won't take you as serious. Y- y'all know what I mean. No, I, y- I'm y'all know you. exactly yeah. what I mean. Um, 
And we yes. do, but we want you to say it. <laughs> <laughs> we want you to say it. We want you to say that they're not actors and they they're not good. And that's that's what people will say because and it's crazy because some of them will be you know truly talented and it's like you know they did that first so it kind it's kind of like people won't work with you because of that reality background. Yeah. It's almost like like if a girl did a porno first. Like, no, no, Kim Kardashian did it. She's she's fine. You ever seen her in a movie? Yeah, Thank yeah. You. she she did some movies, but they weren't like serious roles. Obviously, but it was just I like, think I think reality TV will will hurt you if you're starting. I think yeah, that, don't, don't start on reality TV. It helped Cardi. No, yeah, Cardi. K Michelle. I mean, if you use the no, platform, K Michelle was before. She was already she was popping, popping, yeah, popping she was. before. She already made music. She Cardi, was already yeah, like, K, K, K you, K Michelle I don't think was way more popping before Love and Hip Hop. You didn't know K Michelle before Love and Hip Hop? No, you didn't. No, no. I think the first season that she was on, it was on about her getting beat up by Memphis. That was a whole but she, had, she, first, she had she had hit music out uh-huh. before that. Yeah. Name it. It was always on 106. It was always on 106 and Park and everything. I can't think of the name of the songs because it wasn't no hit. It was a hit. It was. Oh, okay. But no. But Cardi, I know for sure Cardi. Cardi is like the Jocelyn amaz- Hernandez. Is don't amazing. do the Puerto Rican princess she, like that. And Cardi even <laughs> always speaks about how her publicist, you know, people would tell her publicist not to work with her because she came from reality TV and no one will take her serious. So. Everyone knows how yeah, how that goes. Like, yeah. I think, but but everybody we name is also like musicians, and they're not that's actually true. trying to be like serious actors or actresses. No, um, I, I can name some reality stars who are trying to transition into, who? like for example, Drea, Drea Michelle. Um, she was on Basketball Wives. She's actually a. Good Why actress. none of them actually wives? <laughs> <laughs> like they all side people. Wait, hey, ja- Jackie is a wife. But she's old. Like, nobody cares Real about old. her. Real <laughs> like, nobody really cares about her. She's the only basketball wife on it. But, no, no, I get what you're saying. So, as far as, do you feel like that there is a ceiling being a, uh, a actress of color that, that you're going to eventually hit? Uh, yes. I want, I want way more roles for actresses of color. And it's, you just need certain representation with different type of black women. Like, you know, because often, a lot of times, you'll see... Black women lead roles played either, and a lot of people complain about this online, so I see it a lot. It'll be um, a mixed um, black woman, and they're like, why not a black woman? It'll be like, oh, if it's from a book, it'll be a dark-skinned woman in a book, but then in a movie, it's a mixed, you know. Are you mixed? No. Because you can definitely be confused for being mixed. That's I know. True. That's that's what my acting coach he tells me. You can go for those roles. but You definitely can. Mm-hmm. You can have a white daddy. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but... Because, for example, did y'all see that movie that came out um, last year, The Hate You Give? Yes. Um, it's based off of a best-selling novel. And in the novel... My son's the, reading the novel. Mm, the the young lady, she's a dark-skinned black woman. Mm-hmm. And in the movie, they um, casted Amandala. And Amandala is a great actress, and she, but she's biracial. And she's the opposite of everything that was described in the book. And mm-hmm. a lot of people have problems with that. And they're like, oh, we need more, you know. Like when they changed the black anvil for the bright anvil. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't like that. So. You didn't like it? Hell no. <laughs> oh. Did anybody like that? I don't I don't think people liked it. A lot of people complained about it. Nobody even remembers her. Like how how she came out. I remember after both of them. Name me a memorable moment. Not a memorable moment, but I remember what she looked like. If she walked in, I'd be like, oh, that's the light skin that is. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. All right, Miss Bree, can you tell them where they can find you on social media? Uh you can find me at Bree Hudson with mm-hmm. two N's on the end of Hudson. On Why Instagram. you extra extra N? Because someone already had Brie Hudson. <laughs> so you have to be Brie Hudson. So why you ask the extra, like, U or D or S? No, I'd just rather it in. That's way easier. Hudson. Hudson. Okay. Brie Hudson, B-R-E. People like to spell it B-R-I. B-R-E, Brie Hudson. So, yeah, okay. follow me. Well, can you back, come back up here so we can do a vision board on Man Cave Sunday one day? Definitely, definitely. I, I will. Be dope. I'm not cutting out no magazine, so you're gonna have to already have a cut out, and I just no. We're gonna there. we're gonna all cut out of the magazine. I think it'll be dope. I think it we're gonna is. have it. We're gonna have a uh, vision board. Party. It is, and you go home and you hang it up and you look at it every so day. So that's what you it's got. Just, it's mine's just gonna have forty nine. Yeah, and you're like, okay, how far have I come? Have I? Am I getting closer to this? Am I getting closer to this? How how much have you accomplished off your vision board? In and this what March? How much have you accomplished so far? Um, I've accomplished quite a bit. Um, my first thing was to get back in the gym and I've been doing that a lot. Me too. And I'm um, <laughs> <laughs> and it was I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But you know how when you just like hear an obvious lie like you just like you even <laughs> nobody, nobody nobody even asked you nobody that. You probably, <laughs> you, you probably cheered that lie for no reason. <laughs> okay, so get back into the gym. And um it was to, you know, 
go to New York and film the first season and, you know, grow more opportunities, meet more people. And I'm about to go next month, so that's getting closer to the Can you off. disclose the name of the uh, show? Oh, I don't, I can't do to um, an NDA, but I can tell you the networks. What's the networks? I'm going to have one on Netflix, and then there's going to be another one on Showtime. Oh, that's dope. Oh, them, that's that's, that's mm-hmm. big, big money. Netflix mm-hmm. is huge right now. That's yeah, dope. I, I, I had, um... Had a conference call with them before I came, and I was like, "So what can I disclose?" Because so, yeah. you know we signed NDAs, right? So yeah. Tiffany had a shank about no NDA. Okay, so look, I got a question. Like, are we gonna like see you, see you on this show? Oh yeah, I'm or a, you gonna I'm be a lead like, role. You gonna be the girl like at the, at no. the coffee pot? No, no, I'm a lead role on the Showtime one, and I'm a supporting on the Netflix one. So you'll see me. Mm. So I gotta get a Showtime app. <laughs> that's a, what you gotta that's do. A, is you gotta wait till it's about to come on. Nine ninety five a month. No, I'm gonna tell you what to do. You gotta get it right before the show come on. Watch get the, the free season. trial. <laughs> you gotta try on like three months, bro. <laughs> yeah, get that. Got you. All right, so we go. You're the now rocking with the voice of the South. Catch twenty two radio show on ninety two kills dot com. I put my feelings on safety so I don't go shoot.